What's up guys? This is Colton Jones. Um, just going to give a little presentation today on choline. Cohen. Not really sure how you say it, but it is a nutritional supplement out there that athletes are taking. More specifically, it's endurance athletes that are taking this. Um, so I just wanted to look into it a little bit more and see what it's all about. So what is choline? Well, it's a chemical that is produced within the body and is also found naturally in the diet. And it is very similar to the chemical structure of B vitamins. And so that is why it is classified with the B vitamin group. So the benefits of choline and more specifically the role that it plays within the body is actually quite complex because it has a couple different functions that it serves. Um, more importantly, it helps with the liver in accumulating fat and it is also a precursor molecule for acetylcholine. And we all know that acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter within the brain and it serves a very important role for muscle contraction. And this is going to help with athletes. So choline is actually naturally found in quite a few variety of foods. The US Department of Agriculture recently released a database with more than 630 foods that contain choline. A couple of the most concentrated sources of choline include liver, eggs, and wheat germ. And you can actually see from this table that a 3 ounce serving of beef liver contains 355 milligrams of choline. An egg contains 126 milligrams of choline. Because our bodies don't produce a whole lot of choline, um, like I mentioned before, most of it comes from our diet. And this can be a problem when people either don't have adequate diets or they're vegetarians that don't quite eat the meats that are needed with the choline and the eggs and so forth. So there's not really a specific RDA for choline, but the National Academy of Sciences has a good recommendation where children need about 200 to 250 milligrams of choline a day. Men need to ingest about 550 milligrams a day. Women are a little bit less at 425 milligrams. But if the woman is either pregnant or lactating, they need a little bit more because the choline helps with the developing fetus. So before we look at some of the research, here's the basic story of choline. Choline is used to make acetylcholine, right? And acetylcholine is needed for normal muscle functioning. Well, after prolonged exercise, choline levels drop within the body. Therefore, there's a justification that you'll need choline supplementation with these endurance athletes because the values drop. So it's actually kind of interesting that most of the research articles that are out there use cycling athletes in their studies. And to sum up the research articles, most of them had a similar trend where these athletes were taken to a super maximal intensity or moderate level of exertion and they either took the choline supplementation or they had a placebo of this choline supplementation. In the groups that took the choline, it showed a huge upswing in the blood choline levels, but there was actually no difference in the performance between the choline and the placebo groups. And this was done either in short duration as well as long duration exercises. So basically the surge in the choline levels within the blood, although it is important, it doesn't really guarantee that the athlete will perform any better or there's no guarantee of like an ergogenic effect for these athletes. Thanks again guys for watching and hope you enjoyed my presentation of choline and hope it gave you some valuable insight as to um, whether or not you should take it. Thanks.